Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst. Look at that. Wow, is that an incredible fish? And the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. With Pat McSherry. All right, what a fish. And Andy Bioka. Wow. Get the colors on this fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst, and I am really excited about today's show. For the last couple of years, I've been working with Adam Rasmussen on trying to time a really cool brown trout casting bite out on Lake Michigan. We've done this bite in the past, but we were too late. Water temperatures were too warm. We did catch a few fish. Mostly they were smaller. What we're looking for to really make this bite happen is colder water temperatures. And with a cold spring that we've had, it's really created an ideal scenario to allow Adam and I to get out on Lake Michigan, do this shallow water casting bite, and see if we can't get in on some of the huge brown trout that Lake Michigan is known for. So we've got a shot at 30 pound fish today. So that's what's got us going over to Lake Michigan. It's Adam Rasmussen and I here today on In-Depth Outdoors chasing giant brown trout in shallow water. First order of business out here is just finding dirty water. I mean, these brown trout, they're sight feeders, but the water is so clear on Lake Michigan, it's very difficult to catch those fish if you don't have some sediment stirred up in the water column. So what we do is we go along these shorelines, and it's not about finding a particular stretch of shoreline with a certain type of structure. It really comes down to warmer water and water clarity. You really want reduced water clarity. It helps uh, anglers like us uh, to be able to throw lures and fool these, you know, very wary fish. Well, we're off to a pretty good start here. We don't have any like mud color to the water, but it's very cloudy. Uh, I would call it chalky. Got him. Oh, that looks like a good one. Told ya. <laughs> <laughs> I dig it. A nice one too, James. Sure looks like it. You can almost call your shot. It just got a little dirtier. A little water warmer. temp jumped up. Kerpow. Can I offer you a hand, sir? Please. He's not ready to come in yet. But... I just don't want to be late for the ball game. I'll get over here and out of your way. Good work. Uh, what was that? A uh, rip stop or shadow wrap? Shadow or... wrap. Oh yeah. Thick. Pretty one too. Colors on them. I know uh, she got a hold of that bait. She ain't gonna come off, that's for sure. Like you said, you called your shot. <laughs> Dirty enough, warm enough, yep. there they are. Best tool you can have this time of year is a temp gauge. I hear you. Well, no matter, no matter what time of year you fish these trout, it's all about water temperature. It is. You know, in the summer, they're trying to find the cooler water, and right after ice out, they try to find the warmer water. Wearing my arm out. <laughs> what do you say, the biggest one you caught is 16 pounds? 16, that one was uh... That's a giant. I thought for a brief moment about putting the talon down. That would have been not smart. <laughs> come on. Should fish. I come back later or what? <laughs> Next All time right. I'm just gonna stay up there on a bow longer. Alright. It's legit now, fish. Woohoo! That is a nice fish. That's awesome. Man, is that a long fish. Face full of shadow wrap. 
get we in there and see. Might need a new treble hook on that one. Yeah, it's a small price to pay, <laughs> right? We got lots of hooks. Nice. It's a good way to start. What Never color here. is that that you're fishing there? That's the uh, it's like purple descent. Gotcha. Shadow wrap. All right, now well, let's let that one go. Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you for the nut job. Well, I, uh, it's the least I could do. It's kind of like a purple descent, right? Yeah. Got it. Yep. It's, it's been hot the last uh, week out here, so. I have many. Stick with what works. If we catch a pile of them, do what we always do and experiment a little bit. Sounds good. You've got hooks, right? I do. We'll Sounds get that good. fixed All up. Right. Yeah? Stop working right now! Look outside. Is this spreadsheet weather? No, it's not. This is fishing weather, so stop clicking, get out there, and catch a bass! Stop what you're doing and start fishing Rapala Ripstop. Authentic Series Soft Baits from B-Fish and Tackle are just what the doctor ordered if you want to scratch your big fish itch. Available in two body styles, the Moxie Auger Tail and the Pulsar Paddle Tail offer a perfected blend of field-tested color patterns and hyperactive designs that come to life in the water. To produce unparalleled fish catching movement and vibration, other soft baits just can't match. Authentex Plastics, your prescription strength cure for slow fishing, only from B-Fish and Tackle. Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. Fish on. Yes, sir. Just jobbed it. I actually thought I hit a rock. Just <laughs> crush. All right, what you gonna do here, fish? Ooh, there it goes. Cool thing with these, you really don't have to hurry for the net. There's lots of cool Not like things a about these. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> Completely airborne. Yes, it was. Come on, fish. Oh. <laughs> That's a nice fish. That fish hit so hard, Adam. Just, but it woke you up a little, huh? Well, like I said, it felt like I just pulled the bait right down into a rock, just crush, and then it all of a sudden just took off. What'd you get that one on? I'm fishing a BX Minnow, the larger size. I think it's a 12. I'm not, I'm not as thrilled with the hook placement on this as where yours was. Oh, so strong. I'm fishing a Okuma Helio spinning rod here. It's a medium. And I would say on average, you know, their ratings are, they rate them a little under. So it's, this is a little bit heavier than most mediums, right? And this, this is all, I wouldn't want to go any lighter on rod. <laughs> this is the minimum. All right, we got this fish. We got him. Cool fish. <gasps> got him. <laughs> Bonus points for the net man for pulling that off. That was close. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Oh, this is a really nice male. Oh, so heavy. Thick and strong. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you can tell it's a male because if you look there in that lower jaw, yeah, put your finger in there. A big Do it. Hook there. No way. <laughs> I've seen what he did to that BX minnow. <laughs> no kidding. All right, we're gonna let this one go for the release. That is so cool. I love that lower jaw. Oh, all right. Ready, set, gone. 
Swap slime. Awesome. Nice job. That jump. That was so cool. Well, that's the the first 10 seconds after they eat it. I mean, that's the most intense part because they eat it and we're casting in two feet of water right now. That's where the warmest water is. We're fishing right up on the beach. I mean, they have nowhere to go but right. up. That's awesome. It. Good times. <sighs> I owe that uh, fish to Adam in that uh, he caught his first fish on a purple descent uh, shadow wrap. And of course, I'm digging through my box looking for not the same lure, but something similar. Came across this very purple descent looking BX minnow. And that's the largest size they make. I believe that's the 12. And what's nice about this bait is it's a balsa bait. Uh, so it's got that real subtle action that's super helpful in cold water like this, but it's encased in epoxy. So it's tough as nails. And these fish, they hit hard, they pull even harder, and they can be hard on baits. But what I really like about this bait is because it's encased in that epoxy, you can cast it a country mile. Uh, that's very important when you're fishing in really shallow water like this. Long casts cover more water and gives those fish more time to get in behind that bait and decide to crush it. And that last fish did. Fish! Woo! Hooked up again, bud? Yes, sir. He's gonna jump. This is gonna be good. <laughs> well, that one's a long ways out there again. I'm telling you, they, these BX minnows, you can cast them a country mile. It's just going nuts. <laughs> this is how you knock the rust off a winner right here. You know, so very often this time of the year, we're just going from one river bite to the next chasing walleyes, but it's been so blessed cold. Ramps frozen every morning. We just decided we weren't going to fight with it anymore. We were going to get out ahead of things a little bit, come out here and do these brown trout on the front end of this bite. Oh man, I might have to come back there and see you. He's, yeah, he's uh, it's a long ways out yet. They're hitting so hard, it, it, it feels like you know, you're just running into rocks and snagging up. Uh, and then it just starts to move. Angry trout, come up by you. Silver, very silver. Female here for sure. <laughs> it doesn't know which direction to go. Roll around like a darn catfish by the boat. <laughs> I know. This one doesn't have half the gusto that big male did. Come here, you. Yes. Another nice solid fish though. Thank you, sir. I love it when you come up to the bow. Good things just happen when you did when you do that. You need a pliers for that? Yeah, girl? I probably will. No, she, she's loose. Come off in the net. I got a little line. No, I'm loose. Beautiful. Yeah, look at that one. That's awesome. Not as that gnarly was... as that male. That male had been through that some one. Bites. That was a warrior. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we're off to a great start here. I mean, that's three really nice fish. Absolutely. It's only going to get better too as it warms up today. Uh, I mean, that fish is. That's a seven, eight pound fish. Yep. Nothing wrong with that. Right, bye bye. She basically went right back like she's on a homing beacon, right back to that rock she came from. <laughs> Perfect. That's so much fun. Awesome. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels, and perfectly balanced fishing rods, engineered to perfection everywhere, every species. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing.
Skeeter Boat Center is now a full-service Warrior Boats dealer, offering the complete line of Warrior Boats, all covered by reliable Yamaha outboards. With dealerships located in Ramsey, Minnesota and Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, Skeeter Boat Center carries more Warrior Boat models in stock than any other Warrior Boat dealer. No matter which Warrior model is right for you, you'll receive the same attention to detail and service after the sale that made Skeeter Boat Center the number one Skeeter dealer by volume in the Midwest. For the best selection of fiberglass fishing boats and unmatched service, stop in or visit us online at SkeeterBoatCenter.com. Looking for the perfect fishing vacation? Leech Lake, Minnesota. There's over 112,000 acres of water to explore with fantastic walleye, bass, pike, panfish, and trophy muskies. The fishing opportunities are endless. Leech Lake has it all with over 30 resorts, lodges, campgrounds, and hotels line its pristine shores. Plan your trip. It's Minnesota's original up north vacation destination. Oh my God. That fish is oh. huge. Oh, 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 that is a giant. Holy crap. Oh, he hit it so hard. That is a freak of a big brown trout. Look at that thing. Oh, oh please stay buttoned. All right, I'll be up here with the net. You tell me what you want me to do with the boat. Um, I have no idea. He's gonna do what he wants to do. <laughs> that is a really big brown trout. He just about ripped the rod out of my hand. Still throwing that shadow wrap and I've just kind of been real twitch, real twitch, and I can't even move him. Oh, oh my God. That is a hooked. brute. I didn't think he was that big when he first jumped. That thing is a giant. If you fit this in that net, I'm gonna give you a big hug. This is right there with your personal best, isn't this, it? Uh, this might be bigger. This is a giant. Just gotta let them do what they wanna do. I might have to run My up. heart's pounding. I gotta run up so it doesn't hit the motor. She's headed out to sea, Captain. Front of the boat, back <laughs> of the boat, front of the boat. You could probably come up here with that, James. Okay. All right. She just blew air. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's stinking huge! <laughs> Look at this thing! Wow! That is way, way bigger than your personal best of 16 that pounds. Is a, uh, that is a slob. I'm shaking. What a beautiful fish, too. Oh. I'm gonna just run this net right out of there from underneath Wow, oh, is that a stud? Look at that thing. That is awesome, dude. That was a fight and a half. That was Biggest a, one you ever caught? Yeah, that's the biggest brown I've got on a casting on a spinning rod like that. I was so nervous, I didn't even know if we were gonna get that one. I mean, heck, we fought it for- Yes, you did. Seemed like an hour. I mean, just look at the size of the scales on its back. Yeah. It's just, I mean, it's <laughs> five inches across, six inches across the back. You let out a squeal. When that fish hit, you squealed. <laughs> well, you see how happy I am right now, and I don't smile a lot. This is awesome. All right, man. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice nut job, too. And hey, just before we netted her, she blew all of her air. There she goes. A stud. That thing oh. is amazing. Awesome. Oh no. You said you give me a hug. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. In-depth outdoors, spot on the spot ID. On today's spot on the spot ID, I want to share some tips on how to locate these brown trout early in the season. Now, there's great brown trout populations along much of the western shore of Lake Michigan, uh, particularly from Milwaukee Harbor North all the way through Door County. So what does it take to narrow down your search window to find these trout at this time of the year? Uh, really the answer is pretty simple. Normally we'd be looking at a map sharing the type of structure to look for. but Locating these brown trout comes down to water temperature and water clarity. Uh, the day we fished, the main lake water on Lake Michigan was crystal clear and 34 to 36 degrees. That's extremely cold, obviously. But when we moved up tight to shore, there were areas where the wind had stirred up the bottom contents and created pockets of darker water. And those areas were heating up with the sunlight. And what that did was it drew in the bait fish 
and it drew in the brown trout in big numbers. And one of the added bonuses of fishing areas where the water clarity is reduced is catching a brown trout in crystal clear water on artificial baits is always challenging. Uh, they tend to make more mistakes when water clarity is reduced. So now, how do you quickly find those areas? You use your eyes. Uh, the wind will move these pockets of water along the shorelines. And uh, from one minute to the next, where you're fishing will change as those pockets of dirty water literally drift along the shoreline. One minute you're in crystal clear water, the next you'll spot this area of dark water, and that's where the brown trout are gonna be found. And to further narrow down your search area, make sure you're using your side imaging. Uh, so much of these shorelines are just sand and small pea gravel. We didn't find concentrations of trout using those areas, so we turned on the side imaging on our Hummingbird Helix units, and what we found was any area where there was an accumulation of larger rock, and uh, on Lake Michigan that can be anywhere from, you know, basketball size all the way up to just giant boulders, where those concentrations of rock quickly transitioned into sand or gravel, that's where we found the fish. So use your eyes, use your side imaging, and you're gonna be able to get in on some great brown trout action on Lake Michigan. Authentic Series Soft Baits from Beef Fish and Tackle are just what the doctor ordered if you wanna scratch your big fish itch. Available in two body styles, the Moxie Auger Tail and the Pulsar Paddle Tail offer a perfected blend of field tested color patterns and hyperactive designs that come to life in the water. To produce unparalleled fish catching movement and vibration, other soft baits just can't match. Authentex Plastics, your prescription strength cure for slow fishing, only from Beef Fish and Tackle. In pursuit of what lies beneath, Okuma Fishing Tackle is the point of connection between angler and opportunity, giant pike and muskie, drag screaming salmon, and deep bodied lake trout, hard fighting bass, and the elusive walleye, all pursued by anglers that demand the smoothest, longest casting reels, and perfectly balanced fishing rods. Engineered to perfection, everywhere, every species, Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. At Aluma, we're in it for the long haul. That's why we make the longest lasting, most rugged trailers on the road. Flatbeds, bike haulers, tilt trailers, and enclosed. If you have a lot to move, we've got your way to move it. Our lightweight aluminum trailers will handle even your heaviest loads. At Aluma, we are right behind you with an industry-leading five-year warranty. Because every trip and every load is valued. Smoked it. Yes, it did. That one took it on the paws. Did it? Yes. When they hit it like that, that's what uh, makes you make those funny noises. Like, go! Oh! There we go. I can see him maybe uh, breaking the line because that, that line's in the trouble. He kind of got himself in trouble there. He uh, couldn't fight for a while. He was all wrapped up so much. Another nice fish. They're all so much fun. They are. All right. Fish is loose. That's a nice one. Actually, probably a little bit uh, smaller than our average fish today. We've been uh, very fortunate. And we'll see you maybe next year. The year after. Oosh, gone. Yeah, that one was definitely on more of a pause. Was it? Yeah, the string got uh, tight in a hurry. <laughs> oh, did that one hammer it? That's a big fish. Look at that thing spaz. <laughs> That was awesome. You need a hand with that guy or you got it? I can get him. Good eating fish if you're gonna eat one. Yeah? That was awesome when that one bit. He just immediately came to the top and started tail walking. Let this guy get back in the water. He was ready. Did you have enough fun today? I have had an absolute overdose of fun today. This has been a blast and as the day's progressed and the water's gotten dirtier, it's definitely been a shadow wrap bite. Have that loud rattle chamber and then a hard side to side action on that bait so it's making a lot of noise, making it easy for these fish to find. And uh, 
I'm sure there's other colors that work, but Purple Descent has by far been our favorite today. Awesome stuff. 42.1. It's just such a small little area. Fish. Good oh, one. on the outside. Good one. Oh, <laughs> you didn't, I didn't think something that fat could jump. <laughs> just crushed it too. We're not having any fun at all, are we? Not at all. It's part of the reason I moved to Sturgeon Bay. Yeah. More time to do stuff like this. This fish is fast. <laughs> Look at the girth on that thing. It's almost impossible. <laughs> He's going to explode. <laughs> oh, that thing is huge. Just one hook on the other side of his face. Go. Look at that thing. Get the belly on him. That's a beautiful looking fish there. I wish it was light out till like midnight because this well, is way too much fun. There's no reason we can't keep fishing until they stop biting, right? Absolutely. All right. Look at the chub on that thing. Thank you. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> I have this mental image of this grotesquely fat fish trying to jump. It's just comical. Just watching out there, just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better. Oh. Oh. Looks like a nice one. I can't just believe how many fish we've caught today. Unreal. I was just getting ready to say, well, this is starting to look good again. It's warming up. Yep. And a little color to the oh. water. There you are, sir. He Thank popped you. off in the net. What a chunky fish. People would kill to catch a fish like this on a fly rod in the stream. And we've had fish two and a half times bigger than this one today. They are so thick, so fat, so incredibly healthy, and the fight is just amazing. All right, here we go, fish. Gone. Yeesh. That was crazy. So that brings us to the end of today's show. And what can I say other than I love it when a plan comes together. I can't think of a time that I've had more fun catching fish in a long, long time. So this is a phenomenal bite that will go well into April as long as the water temperatures don't get too high. The cutoff seems to be about that low to mid 50 degree range. So there's lots of time to get in on this spectacular fishery. If you want to get out, make sure you look up Adam Rasmussen at rasmussenoutdoors.com. And before we go, I want to remind everybody, we're running out of time to get you entered into the Dream Trip giveaway. Go to our homepage, indepthoutdoors.com, click on that Dream Trip giveaway icon there and get yourself entered. One fan is going to walk away with the opportunity to fish and film an episode with us here at In-Depth Outdoors. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations, and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.